All right, welcome back, everyone. If you had to pick out the dirtiest items in your home, would you be able to do that? Some of the things covered in the most bacteria may surprise you. Here with more on that, Dr. Mehmet Oz, host of the Dr. Oz Show. Doc, good to see you. Good morning. Good morning. Good bacteria, bad bacteria. Let's not. Let's remember, not all bacteria is bad. The vast majority are good. We actually outsource digestion. Without bacteria, we wouldn't be alive. We want the good guys, but with too much use of antibiotics and some of our dietary habits, we get a little bit of the bad guys, which is why we're here today. A lot of people think they go home. That's the way to a escape bacteria, that it's all out on the street, but we're going to talk about some common things in your home and you're going to freak some people Dispel out, all right? Miss. Okay, we're going to ask you a question, which has more bacteria on it, a pet bowl or a cutting board, all right? Now here's the deal. The part of the problem with pet bowls is that no one ever washes them. Right, right. that's here, you, sorry. Even if you love your pets, that you, you'll end up with a problem because you won't be able to pay attention to it. And so here's the thing, you're gonna wash your pet bowl at least once a day with the rest of the dishes in your home. Don't forget about the reality that you may think other things are dirty, but you wash your cutting board, you clean. You never clean the pet bowl. All right, your dish sponge, the one you use at the kitchen sink, or the bottom of a woman's purse, which one is germier? This is all about moisture. Bottom of a woman's purse is pretty dirty, lots of stuff down there, but it has nothing compared to the moisture harvesting ability of a sponge. And a sponge is actually the dirtiest thing in your home. We ran all these tests with NSF International. It's a lab that looks at the colony count. Did it with your phones too. Right. Pretty clear on this one. All right, so the handle of your toilet or the reservoir in your automatic coffee maker? Shockingly. Someone gets paid money to clean the, the handle on a toilet, even a public toilet, right? Or you do it yourself at right. home. But who the heck cleans the coffee reservoir? No one does. That's worse? That's is worse. So you want to actually take a little bit of, of vinegar, put it in the back of your coffee reservoir, and run it through every once a month. That's the recommendation. And by the way, the sponge so easy. Two minutes in a microwave, and it's clean. Okay. Over the last several days, you've been here in our studio with your little swabbing yes. kits. You took our cell phones. Come on in, guys. You took all of our cell phones, and you swabbed away to see who had the germiest phone. Do you have the uh, results, Dr. Oz? I have them. I'm scared. I have them. Uh -oh. I'm scared. Uh, so this is a little surprise. You're going to start from bottom to top or which way? Uh, the best to the worst. Okay. okay. We had Clean NSF it. International run these, so these are va validated. The good news is none of you had toxic bacteria. There was oh. no E. coli, which is fecal <laughs> material, thank goodness. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> there was no <laughs> staph or anything like that. Who do you think was the highest rated person? Who did the best? Cleanest? Cleanest. Matt. Matt. No. Or yeah. Al. No, I'm going to think it's Hoda. Matt. Yeah. Matt. Oh, it was Kim. Matt. Yeah. Of course it was. Oh, yeah. Clean. I mean, it <laughs> sterilizes the darn thing. Look at him over there. I find him. Now, here's the thing. Al, Al, Al when we, when we, we actually, I don't have footage of this, I wish I did. When we came to Al, he actually autoclaved his phone. He cleaned it in so much alcohol, I don't think it works anymore. But it worked. I, I do you, clean, yeah. my, I clean he always my phone does. every day. He does. You got 600. You were 500. Number two? 600. Okay. With number two oh, on the list. Oh, it's getting interesting. <laughs> yes. Number three I, on the list. Come on, girl. Come on. I, I so, know, in other I, words, I, second worst. Well, no, there's a third worst. Oh, okay. But one of, one of the, the culprits is not here. Carson, I'll get them in a second. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Maria, you were 1,300, which is good. Wow. You're third. Good. Yeah. Uh, sir? Nearly three times me. <laughs> but who's counting? Yeah. So that's all that sunlight in California probably yes. killing off the bacteria. Yes. Okay. Hoda? I don't like the odds. Uh, I don't like what's happening here. You won. You were 1,800. You won. 1,800, Ooh. actually, is not that far from Maria. Yeah. But, See? But to make you feel better, the reason Carson's not here <laughs> is because poor Carson. He's sick. No, 6,000. Ah! Whoa! 6,000. He's got little kids. That's probably He's blaming kids. the kids. He's blaming exactly. He's all the sun was in his eyes. He's got lots of his <laughs> That's but, really bad. No, actually, in fairness, oh. all of these numbers are acceptable. Uh, oh, Six thousand is not as good as five hundred show off. Yeah. But it's, good. And I'm sure we'll never mention this Carson again. <laughs> we'll never come up. Doc, that was great. So Thank you very fun. much. You can catch his show weekdays. Check your local you listings. Your Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.